Good morning everyone, I'm starting off my day bright and early here, just getting over to the shop right around 8.30. Now since the season is over, I was able to get a few hours extra sleep here, but since the off season has arrived, we have lots to do here at the shop. Can't forget my cup of coffee here since it is a pretty chilly day here, it's only around 30 degrees. And I will say guys, the snow is coming here, so I have it planned out next week. A few guys and myself are going to put all the plows on, put the salters in the trucks, so we're good to go there. But you guys can see, finally, all the equipment is back here in the shop. Just look at all of it. We have to get the shop organized, but we have a few things we do need to get done here today. And that is, I really want to get this trailer unloaded, move the trailer back outside uh, to free up a little bit of room here the other big big thing guys we actually have to return the skag leave vacuum it uh since this was a rental for the last month and a half here so we're gonna be doing that but i think hey why don't we get started off here getting this trailer moved on out and getting these equipment off like always, guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Guys, we've had a great landscaping season, probably one of our best ones yet here. So many cool different types of YouTube videos we were able to make here. And I do have a lot planned here to finish off FS19 and then hopefully we can get the series up and running in FS22 as quickly as possible here. But I will say, guys, this last month, month and a half here was a lot of hard work, but it's so awesome. And we got all the jobs done here and uh, we are already getting booked up for next year, which is great to see here. Hopefully uh, we can get some more equipment for that as well but actually we have a few things to do inside i just remembered uh, i should be getting a text uh, probably within the next few hours i did end up selling uh, this old case i ate tractor here now i bought this with the uh purpose uh to use it as a kind of a backup machine but we just never used it and this actually does not have a three-point attach it looks like the previous owner removed it here and it just only has a pto in uh, a hitch there so uh i put it up for sale and someone that is actually just starting out uh, is going to be buying it from us so he'll be arriving sometime today maybe if i don't hear from him shortly i'll send him a text for now, I'm just going to roll these inside the shop. I do want to do a full maintenance on each and every single machine here. I want to make sure they're all greased, uh, the oils change, and they're all cleaned on. Now, we could uh, leaf blow them, uh, clean the filters, things like that. All these little things that you really don't get to see, I really want to get done here. That way, everything is good to go. So, we can start off next season pretty strong here as well. But we actually have to find a spot for the trailer. I'm thinking we are just going to have to put it over here. Now, yesterday, one of the crews did finish early and clean out that landscaping trailer so that's good to go which is great to see so i think for now we'll just actually we'll leave it disconnected we could just leave the truck here all right, guys, let's get this door opened on up here. Now, I do want to take the leaf box off here, put these back on the shelf uh, since it did serve the purpose here. But we are actually doing a few big, big uh, things here today. One of which, guys, I am selling the 2021 Chevy 3500. We're buying a new dump truck, and you guys are going to see all the details here. But let's take the leaf box off, and I do want to go drop this off first, and then we'll go over to the uh, truck uh, dealership, the uh, place that I am uh, trading this in at, and we'll get the other truck it's a lot easier to take that box off than it was to put it on here but we should be good to go now a few of you guys might be asking square hey why don't you buy that leaf vacuum well we really only use it for about a month here and i just don't want to have to uh, have the maintenance and have to own it do all of that when we only use it for three to four weeks here and we do get a pretty good discount uh from the rental uh store since we do buy our parts and filters things like that so it's a pretty good uh, relationship we do have there but i hope everyone been having a fantastic day here let me know uh, down below in the comments how's it going so far here it's a bit chilly where i am the weather is getting colder here but fall is still in full swing here the leaves are still falling and it's just a great time of the year now guys, the leaf vacuum was a big part of our fall leaf cleanups here. It did come in pretty handy. We were able to clean up more leaves a lot faster, haul a lot more here in this truck. And I will say, it is a pretty good machine here. Now, if these things were a bit cheaper, maybe I would consider having it here. But only for a month or two. I think it's a lot easier, a lot cheaper to rent it than it is to spend a lot of money. Because this machine, guys, was almost $20,000 here. It's a lot of money. And it would definitely... Uh, 
uh, would not be as profitable if we were to own it here. But we'll just get it dropped off here. I mean, it's just a simple disconnect here. They already know we're dropping off. And I would just shoot him a text here because he does know that I am pretty busy here. But up next, guys, like I mentioned, we are trading in this truck. Now, you guys might be asking why. And I've actually been looking at a new truck, possibly adding a new truck here, which would have been a flatbed truck. We really need a flatbed to haul some implements, uh, pallets, or even supplies around it. And what I decided upon, guys, is what's called a mason dump truck here. The sides fold down, and you can put pallets in it, but it's also a dump truck that can haul lots of material. These dump trucks are pretty important here in the business, and I thought this would be a perfect way to have a truck that could do both things without having to buy a whole nother truck here. Oh boy, guys, it's right out front here for us. I can't wait uh, to kind of uh, showcase it here. Now, I have to go ask him for the key, but here it is, guys. This is a 2014 F-350. It's a regular cab with that uh, power stroke engine here, but take a look at this, guys. This is the first time I'm going with an aluminum dump body. This is a nine-foot bed, our old one was right around seven feet here so we could haul a little bit more but the big big thing guys uh with it being aluminum uh, we could haul a lot more uh since uh the dump bed doesn't weigh as much and all these sides do fold down here so i'm gonna go get the key and we should be good to go uh to take it back here but i do want to showcase this and i've put a lot of hours into this truck to make it uh, what you guys are seeing here well, guys, I got the key. Let's get it fired on up here. Now, this only has right around 19,000 miles. Once again, this was actually a secondary truck for one of the companies in here in town, which is always great to see here. I really want to buy the best used truck I can find on the market. And I was actually looking for F550, but this one has everything I want here. So I actually really want to showcase this to you guys. Like I mentioned, the back folds down so we can load pallets from the back, but we can also load pallets from either side here now this is pretty sweet so look at that we could put pallets on that side or on this side and this becomes pretty much a flatbed truck and I will say guys we should be able to fit probably two if not three pallets if we keep that back a tailgate open so this is gonna come in pretty handy and oh boy guys I'm super excited here so why don't we get all those sides folded back up and I do also want to showcase a few things here because it does have strobes and I actually I kind of like the strobes here on it not as many as our previous truck there but we got a few there up top there and I mean this thing is pretty sweet here but let's get rolling we got to get back on to the shop now but I will say guys this truck is pretty fancy it is uh, uh the uh, tech package which means it's not roll up windows but it's still a simple basic work truck Having two bigger dump trucks and a dump trailer, I think this truck is going to come in pretty handy here, especially now that we could use it as a fully working flatbed here. And I think having a flatbed with sides just like this is going to come in pretty handy here, but let's get it backed on into the shop. And oh, look, I'm actually just getting a text now here from a guy that's picking up the tractor. He said he'll be here within the next 10, 15 minutes. He's probably just around the corner here now. A few things like I mentioned before, I'm actually uh, going to be going with two different color schemes here so uh, the color red is going to be on the dump trucks and the crew cabs and then the uh, single cab long beds are going to be white here that way uh, we aren't just one uh, color uh, for these company trucks but I will say guys I've always wanted a truck like this this body style looks pretty cool and this is my first aluminum dump body that I've ever purchased here in farming simulator so it should be nice hopefully it holds up just like the uh, steel uh, does and it definitely should here but now we got to get moving here you guys can see there's a few things here in the way so let's see we should be able to move that leaf blower there and let's see if we get the right fired on up Oh yeah, no problem. This thing fires on up. I will say, guys, these mowers, you guys can see, they're just scattered around it all over the shop. So we're going to have to do oil change. We have to get the blades sharpened. And I do want to scrape those decks because they do need a big, big cleaning. All right, we're getting rolling here. Uh, it looks like it started and then the engine uh, uh, kind of went off there for a few minutes. But I'm going to get uh, let it get warmed up here. Uh, get the hydraulics going. Like I mentioned, guys, the guy that's buying this is just getting started here. So it's going to be nice to give him a helping hand. And I actually did buy some extra oil here. So I will give that to him in, in with part of the purchase. And hopefully he could get a lot more work out of it. We only really use this uh, to lift pallets off trucks and move attachments around the shop. And I think maybe we use this on a job or not here. But we had a pretty busy season. And I'm not exactly sure if we used it. 
Good morning, sir. It's nice to finally meet you after talking on the phone a few times. Yeah, so I actually got it out of the shop. I've, I've had it running uh, for probably the last five, six minutes here. But if you just wanted to do a quick walk around, it's exactly like uh, what it was in the posting for it here. Everything works on and ends. I will give you a few extra cases of oil fords that I bought here as well. Yeah, well, uh, we could do the paperwork here to sign the title, do all that, and then I'll help you get it loaded up. Well, sir, hope you get a lot of use out of it, but I appreciate you buying it. All right, talk to you later. With the tractor sold, guys, we have one more thing we have to do, and that is, guys, I've sold the International, and I bought a new truck, so we're going to be trading this in for a new-to-us truck, and the reason why, guys, as you saw a few weeks ago where we purchased the Peterbilt, this truck has been having quite a few breakdowns here. We actually broke a drive shaft, new tires, but it actually needs a little bit of engine work here, so it's time to move on to something a little bit newer, uh, because these are a huge, huge workhorse here. We use these trucks every single day and they just need to be up and running here in a few days we actually had to scramble uh, to use these smaller trucks to do the job of this here so I'm gonna let it get warmed up here for just a moment and we're gonna get rolling here now you guys might be asking swear what type of truck are you buying well I wanted to stay within a 20 to 25 ton dump truck uh, since everything about this uh, fits our business really well here and I decided upon a Mac R series it is a 2004 model here it's uh, the same shop that we bought the previous dump truck from it and he actually was showing it to me uh, when I was looking at the previous one there so that's how I found it and it just worked out that we're buying it from the same uh, uh, shop here in town well guys, here we are. The Mac is right out front here for us. I'm super, super excited. I've been a huge fan of the Mac here. Actually, when I was first looking at a dump truck, I've wanted one of those. And none were available until this one here. This has right around, I think it's 50,000 miles here on it. This was like a fourth or fifth dump truck for a pretty big company. So I don't think it was used too, too much. But you guys can see this is pretty sweet here. The dump body is in pretty good condition. The floor of it is even better than ours, which is pretty good to see here now you guys can also see the cabs is a kind of a two-tone paint and I will say this also goes along with the new color schemes we're going red with the big dumb trucks as well which does look pretty cool here but I'm gonna go inside it I'm gonna sign the last of paperwork get the key and we'll get on our way to uh, hop on in and head back to shop all right, let's climb up the steps here. Let's get it fired on up here. Oh boy, guys, I can't wait to put this to work here now. With the landscaping season over, I still do plan uh, to do some miscellaneous jobs here. And I also do plan to do a lot of snow plowing. But look at the inside here, guys. I mean, the seats are in really good condition. Definitely mint uh, for a dump truck that gets worked a lot here as well. But we're ready to head back to the shop. I do have to learn the shifting pattern in this. It's a little bit different than that international here. But let me know down below in the comments, guys. What is your favorite dumb truck that I've used here? And what is your favorite overall uh, kind of big rig truck? Now, we don't want to break the bank. I really do not want to be buying a brand new dumb truck just because of all the extra wear and tear here. With all that materials and the chance of uh, uh, when you're loading, something falls on the cab, uh, puts a few dings and dents in the doors. I just don't really want to be buying brand new trucks here. And these things even used. I mean, this truck did cost us a lot of money here as well. But we'll get on back to the shop. Oh boy, I'm a little rusty with a shifter. Well, we're back at the shop with the new dump truck here. Now, like I mentioned, this is a 2004 model. Our previous international was, I think, almost a mid-1990s here. So, hey, this is at least 10 years newer. That is progress here. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe one day when we do make a lot, a lot of money here, we could upgrade. But I think for now, we're just going to go with a more uh, kind of paid-off fleet of equipment and trucks here. Especially the dump trucks, like I mentioned. When you're working with gravel, big boulders, things like that. Older trucks, I think, do make a lot of sense here. But looking at the time, it's almost 5 o'clock here. So I'm going to close up shop and I'm going to head on home to play a little bit of farm sim. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.